Hey guys, this is Ray with DRP Motorsports and welcome back to the shop. And today I wanted to do a short video on ghost cam tunes for the Coyote Mustangs as well as uh, GT350s, GT500s, any of these new modern day Coyote similar based uh, V8 engines offered from Ford. Uh, the key secret there is with the uh, variable camshaft uh, technology or uh, VCT, variable camshaft timing VCT however you want to use the term. Anyway, what that boils down to is we are able as tuners to change the timing or the phasing of the camshafts in relation to the piston as it goes and works up and down the compression uh, intake and exhaust stroke on a four-stroke engine like the Coyote V8. Uh, what is the ghost cam? Well, it's just simply manipulating the camshaft timing so that it gives you that overlap or choppity chop sound that everybody loves to hear on a uh, performance V8 engine. That sound's been around a long time, ever since guys have been modding V8 engines and been uh, tweaking things on them to make more power, that sound's been around. And basically, naturally, that sound occurs when you install, uh, originally it was when you installed a very uh, aggressive cam profile in a uh, pushrod V8 engine. And basically what causes the, uh, the, the sound or the chop effect is where the intake valve and the exhaust valve are open at the same time in relation to the piston on the uh, intake stroke and the exhaust stroke. So what happens is, is uh, you get a mixture of intake charge and exhaust charge coming together into the cylinder. It basically uh, contaminates the intake charge in the cylinder and causes a misfire. So that's what... Uh, a cam chop is really all about. It's a misfire, but we associate that sound with a high performance V8 engine. And a lot of guys, and myself included, love that sound, especially when you hear a V8 chopping and thumping at idle. I mean, it's just a cool sound. And with the Coyote V8, since we, the uh, camshafts are electronically over hydraulic control, uh, we can go in there into the tune and manipulate the cam timing in the tune so that we get that nice overlap and causes the chop at idle simply with tuning alone on these Coyote engines. So that's where that comes from. That's how we do it. Um, the pros and the cons. The pros is it sounds really, really cool. Um, the cons is, well, you know, uh, it's uh, causing a misfire at idle. So technically, if you do it a lot, it can be harder on spark plugs. It can be harder on catalytic converters. But, you know, in defense of that, if you're not going to let the car sit there and chop and chop and chop and chop and chop all the time, just sitting there and idle doing that, as long as you drive the car and mix things up, I don't see any harm in it. Uh, it does cause your car to use more gasoline if you or E85, whichever fuel you're running, if you let it do it a lot. But other than that, that's the only cons I can say. And like I said, the pros is it sounds really, really cool. Um, I will say that... Uh, it works best on a car with a manual transmission or in the case of the GT500 with a dual clutch transmission. You can use them on uh, six speed autos and 10 speed automatic uh, Coyote Mustangs or even F-150s for that matter with the uh, automatics. But it typically works better if you have a torque converter with a higher stall speed than stock. And the reason why is a stock torque converter from the factory has a pretty low stall speed and if the engine is chopping at idle and you throw it in gear, it's going to cause the vehicle to shake and, you know, uh, be a little rough. But, you know, if you don't mind that, you can get around that even with a stock torque converter. But how we do it at DRP Motorsports, we set it up in the tune so that it only occurs in one camshaft mode. And let me explain that. In the tune, there are different camshaft modes that the engine may run in. Uh, you got some for emissions, you got some for normal idle, you got some for normal cruise down the road, you got some for wide open throttle operation. And we set it up so that it's only active when the car is sitting at rest, no load on it, just the normal idle, so that, you know, it's not going to interfere with normal daily driving functions. Now, the way we set it up, as soon as you give it some throttle or you apply some load, it'll smooth out and you'll be able to drive the car like it's completely stock and normal. So uh, let me give you a full demonstration of how the ghost cam sounds and how it works on this 2015 Mustang GT. 
Now I'm going to start the car up, and once I start the car, you probably won't hear me as well. But what you'll hear is when it first starts up, it'll sound smooth and normal. Once the camshaft mode changes, you'll hear the chop effect come in. And if I try to move the car, you'll hear the chop effect go away and it smooth out and sound normal again. So here's the demonstration. It won't take long for the camshaft mode to change because I've already warmed the car up. See, it's already changed camshaft modes and uh, it's chopping it idle. Um, this car does have a exhaust system that's not really loud, so you don't hear quite as much as you would be on a car that had maybe a different cat back exhaust on it that was much louder than what's on this car, but still you can hear it. And it sounds really cool. And uh, watch what happens when I give it just a little bit of throttle. I'm leaving it on. Let off the throttle. It'll go back into that chopper mode. That's how the ghost cam tune works. I thought it would be an interesting video. As always, thank you for following along. God bless each and every one of you, and we will see you again soon.